Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for next week to 10 days for today's Spur video. Day 10 will take us to the 10th of uh, February and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the external GFS and ECM ensembles. And they run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us well into February. I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first video say was the 6 a.m. upload and also release the EC. 30 day forecast. Check out those two videos if you'd like to. I've got a very, very, very bad tooth uh, today. So <laughs> I'm going to try and shorten this down. I'm sorry I'm not speaking uh, that well. I think the dentist got some uh, antibiotics to out next week. Um, but uh, for today, hopefully it'll be a bit better tomorrow. Today I'm not doing too well. So we're going to rattle on with this as quickly as we can, <laughs> I think, and get it done. Um, so, the centering temperature has updated up to yesterday, the 30th of uh, the month, and we're sitting at 5.1, which is 1.3 degrees above average. Probably tick up a little bit more, so it's up somewhere probably around 5.2. These are the GFS upper air temperature amplification ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for London. Starting off about average at the moment. Getting a bit cooler overnight into tomorrow. Uh, mild event for the second half of the week. Bit of a colder interlude now beginning to uh, shape up into the second week of uh, February. You have got a lot of scatter in there. So we've got these cold ensemble members down here. Some very cold ensemble members there. We've got milder ensemble members up here. Um, so a little bit of uncertainty creeping in now for the second week of February. Could we go colder? I'll show you the chart data in a moment. Precipitation wise, going to be lots of dry weather over next week and then gradually perhaps getting a bit more unsettled towards the middle of February. Though overall that is a very dry ensemble graph. Temperature anomalies on the 31st of January to 8th of February are going to be uh, milder than average. Precipitation anomalies on the 31st of January to 8th of February drier than normal for England and Wales in particular. A little bit wetter the northern and western parts of Scotland. So let's move on that from EarthNodSchool.net shows up to bring in a westerly wind today. Uh, so a very Atlantic driven. Right, let's go through the chart day 20. So let's just you can make your run. It's looking for midnight on Friday. High pressure south, low pressure north. Bring up a very mild west to south westerly wind. Heading into uh, Saturday, uh, we find again high pressure dominates the weather sitting over the country under that area of high pressure it might start to turn a little bit colder by the beginning of next week with a risk of frost and fog in the south and east further northwest this area of low pressure where we try to bring some wet and windy weather in from off atlantic note the uk may is trying to get high pressure going over scandinavia there by the 7th of february as far as we go with the uk met euro icon again for friday with high pressure south low pressure of north dragging up it's mild or very mild west to south west wind. Into the weekend, the high pressure will dominate and reach through the country, bringing lots of dry weather. As high pressure pushes north, there might be some frost and fog by the beginning of next week, especially in the south and the east. And then moving up towards um, Tuesday, so as we get to with ICOM, again, trying to build some high pressure over Scandinavia. Low pressure attempts to come in off the Atlantic. We're still mild up to that point, generally. Um, but I've got to watch out what's going on with that Scandinavian high. Now, GFS Midnight Run uh, looks like this. Again, very mild on Friday with high pressure over France, low pressure to the north of Scotland, bringing up this west to south west wind. As we go through the weekend, the high pressure reaches northward, so by the beginning of next week, the high pressure reaching through the country and starting to ease its way up towards Scandinavia as well. As we head up towards day 10, high pressure sitting around the country will bring mostly dry and quite cold weather, probably with only like frost and fog, milder, the Scotland and Northern Ireland with those west to southwest wind. Notice the heights building over Scandinavia and northeast of Europe. And so by day 10, actually high pressure taking over from Scandinavia into west of Russia. Wind beginning to turn into the east. Very cold air is sitting just to our east over the other side of the North Sea. And look at that, just beyond day 10, we get to the 11th of February. We've got a proper Scandinavian high at 1,055 millibars. And uh, all of a sudden, the wind has turned into the east. This is a very cold easterly as well, dragging bitterly cold air and no doubt snow, uh, snow showers anyway, from the east. Now, that's a very, very big change from what we've seen yesterday. Just a video talking about an exceptionally mild <laughs> first start of February. So, you know, we just like to we did ensembles watch last night, ensembles watch live last night. We did see within the GFS ensembles 
There are quite a few on top of them, but that was going for a Scandinavian high and easterly winds. We've seen the operational run there going in that direction. So, you know, let's wait and see what happens through the second week of February. I wouldn't rule anything in, wouldn't rule anything out at the moment. Uh, beyond that, high pressure maintained over Scandinavia. Winds maintaining into the east as well. Bitterly cold air bringing snow showers from the east. And uh, we keep it cold really right way up to the end of the GFS midnight run with low pressure trying to push up from France. That could bring some snow into the south as it runs into that cold air that's still sitting over the country. Very cold and wintry extended uh, GFS midnight run. This other GFS 6 there is looking. So, again, we've got high pressure building up from France, bringing uh, generally mild and dry weather through uh, the end of week into the open of the weekend. They try the weekend, uh, next week, high pressure going centred over and to the east northeast. Actually, again, look, notice that high pressure trying to get itself to Scandinavia. So, um, certainly turning colder from a frost and fog perspective by the beginning of uh, next week. Now, as we move towards day 10, uh, we struggle to get winged into the east this time. We do eventually get high pressure over Scandinavia by the 11th of February. We have got a bit of an easterly wind, but uh, most of the cold air is actually kept away across central and eastern parts of Europe on this uh, particular um, GFS 6 head run. Most of the up cold upper air temperatures are kept away. Anyway, on the surface, we do bring in very cold air, you know, continental air, so the dew points are very cold. Uh, there'll be a lot of really hard frost there as we go into the middle part of February. Um, but the real cold, like the snow-making cold with the upper air temperatures, um, that's kept away from us across the central eastern parts of Europe on this GFS run. And we very quickly go back into a mild and westerly again, actually, by the very end, gets us to the 16th of February. If you're enjoying this video, then please can you write, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much. GM, again, high pressure building up from the south through uh, the end of week into the weekend. High pressure then sits over the country only next week. Could bring some frost and fog, especially so to more southern areas. And by day 10, we're actually trying to get high pressure scanned. If you're on the GM too, we are putting in a little bit of an easy wind, mostly cold air still across eastern Europe. So we've got to wait and see where that goes, you know, in the day or two afterwards, whether that, whether that Scandinavian high would develop further and bring in a proper easterly uh, or not. You know, we have to wait and see. And then the ECM going out looks like this, very mild on Friday. High pressure builds up from the south with the early part of next week. Tries to go to Scandinavia. All models are trying to get that high pressure to Scandinavia uh, next week. So that is very interesting. It is a change on yesterday's model output, a significant change actually on yesterday's model output. What happens with the ECM is that high pressure doesn't successfully build over Scandinavia before day 10. But high pressure is sitting over to the east of the country. So well, the very least would be cold from a frost and fog perspective. So next week, we could be looking at cold weather from either a frost and fog perspective or proper cold, um, with proper cold uh, easterly winds. I would say that's a low probability at the moment. The most likely probability, I would avoid going to be like a frost and fog type outbreak next week. But we've got to wait and see where this is going because it is a significant change on what we've seen within model output just yesterday. Um, this is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometeo.com. So not much to look at with this. It can be lots of dry weather over the next week, 10 days. What rain there is is primarily in the far north and northwest. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today. Four day 10 gets us to the uh, 10th of February. 21 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure out to our west and try to build to our northeast. It's probably a trough through here and a dip in the jet stream. That option could start to bring cold air in from the east. Then we've got um, 16 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure over and to the northeast of the country. That's a proper Scandinavian high with winds in from the east. That would be in line, I think, with the GFS midnight run, probably. Uh, we've got 14, much more like the GFS 6Z, high pressure just sitting right over the top of the country. That would bring frost and fog. Uh, then we've got another 16 here, with uh, low pressure just to... Uh, no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So that's the day 10 options. Right, they're the day 10 options. Okay, right, I do wish I was around in Red's office. We'll get these clusters back. Um, and to me, time, these are the options on the table, which gets us to the 15th of February. 16 members of the ECM ensembles better unsettled with low pressure in the Atlantic, bringing mild, wet and windy 
weather with it. We've got another 16 here with high pressure over just to the east. That probably brings dry weather and frost and fog. Uh, we have got then um, 10 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure more or less over the top of the country. So mostly dry, could be quite cold. And then we've got nine members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure still sitting to our north proper Scandinavian high. Uh, stretched out to ice and winds in from the east. That would be very cold, of course, uh, with low pressure to the south, threatened snow to southern parts of the country. Only nine doing that, but, um, you know, we have to wait and see where this is going. It is all very significantly different from what we've seen just yesterday. So <laughs> let's see what's going on. Uh, what goes on over the next few days. Right, CFS meets and then we're done. And then I'm going to go and have a sleep, I think. So these are 500 millibar high charge brings down into wheat beers. The first wheat beer takes from the 31st of January 6th of February. The coming week have high pressure regime from the West, spring, mostly dry, but quite cool weather. Uh, or mild weather initially, then turned a bit cooler, probably. Uh, week 2, 7th to 13th of February, high pressure over just to the east of the country. That's mostly dry, but cold. Potentially with frost and fog. Week three is going to be the 14th to 20th of February. High pressure to our south, low pressure way to the northwest. That's bringing milder air in from off the Atlantic. And uh, week four keeps that going. It's the 21st, 27th of February. High pressure again around the Alps, low pressure around Iceland. Winds remaining from the southwest. The uh, CFS sticking for now, sticking to its idea of uh, very mild, wet and windy conditions, uh, or very mild conditions and, and dry conditions in the south, wetter in the north uh, for February. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, dear Matt. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. I thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Just tell what's happening tomorrow, 6 a.m. upload, definitely. Yesterday forecast, I think that's likely. The live stream, I'm going to wait and see how the mouth of the truth is. Um, if it's like it is today, but I won't be live streaming. It's too painful to speak for an hour. Um, but hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, the, the antibiotics and that will start setting things down. And um, by tomorrow, uh, I'll be in a lot less pain. We shall see. I'll keep everybody posted uh, tomorrow on the community page and whatnot. Right. And if I don't live stream, then there'll just be a 10 to 14 day video upload. Right, uh, that's it for today's videos. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.